Hey everybody, welcome. About a month and a half ago, I made a video on the Oshan KGQ-10H, about a 219 or so dollar radio that has quad bands, meaning six meters, two meters, 1.25 meters, 70 centimeters. It does cross band repeat. There's a lot of cool stuff about this radio, but I was very disappointed. And as I mentioned, I was gonna send it back and that was because it looked really bad on the spectrum. The spectrum purity didn't look great. And when you're paying $219 for radio, no matter how good it sounds, no matter how cool crossband repeat is, you, you almost are a little bit let down. So I made the video, but also Danny and I had a contact or some communication. Danny, if you don't know, he's over there at Buy Two Way Radios. And I gotta say his customer service is superb because he said, hey, yeah, we did find some issues with the filtering in some of the first batch. We're gonna get the second batch and we're gonna make sure the filtering's taken care of. So he did what he said. A month and a half later here, I have the KGQ-10H. Now I'm gonna do more videos on this and we're gonna go into the detail on certain things. Let me know in the comments below, what would you like to see? But for right now, I just wanted to show you some examples of how the spectrum looks on all four bands. But wait, before I show you the updated spectrum, let me just jump and show you what it looked like on the first video so you can get a feel about why I was passionate about this. This is how the spectrum looked on six meters. Eh, now's a good time to subscribe. This is how the spectrum looked like on two meters. Also not too good. I know that there's gonna be some questions about the power output on 1.25 meters. And also I've been advised that uh, AM is now available on the lower portion of six meters, but we're gonna get to all that at another date. Now that we saw what the spectrum looked like before, here are my updated results. This first one here is a representation of what a clean spectrum should look like. And this is on two meters. So yes, great job. It looks like we're clean on two meters. And if I continue on here, I tested UHF next. UHF also looks clean, so good to go there. Now, if I go to 1.25 meters, one thing you're gonna notice is the signal is degraded and that is because I used the same amount of attenuation, but uh, the power output is a little bit less on 1.25 meters. We'll test that again here soon. And finally, then I went to 50 megahertz or six meter band starting at 40 megahertz uh, transmitting in the six meter band. This is what I get. There is a little bit of a, a spur here but I don't think there's much concern there as far as things go. Again, I have the attenuation to meet the 16.02 dBm requirement, and now we're just making sure that the spur is at least 40 dB away from the fundamental emission, and it is, so that's good. I'm a little bit short on time, so let's just wrap this up here real quick. Number one, thanks for watching. Uh, I wanna give a huge shout out to Buy Two Way Radios. Danny over at Buy Two Way Radios, when he saw that there was an issue with the radios, it wasn't just me. There was a couple other people having the issue. Uh, he made sure and he worked with Oshan to get the correct filtering or the filtering fixed rather in these radios. And I think that that's remarkable. Uh, about a year ago, I made a video on another company who was deceitful and they were uh, maybe even potentially stealing passwords and they were doing many things that were kind of borderline unethical in my opinion. And I just chose to stay away from that company. Now, it's nice to tell a company that there's something wrong and have it acknowledged, much like Buy Two Way Radios and Oshan both acknowledged the filtering issues. So there's a lot of credibility there. Do mistakes happen? Absolutely mistakes happen. And anybody who says mistakes don't happen, uh, they I don't know what world they're living in. But the most important thing is, is when a mistake happens, become accountable, which Buy Two Way Radios did a great job of doing and get the issue fixed so that moving forward, people are gonna be satisfied with their radio. So we're gonna take a look way, way more into this radio and uh, just kind of be a little patient for those videos. But if you do have any questions, anything you wanna see in the video, anything you want tested, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and uh, by Two Way Radios, Danny and Oshan as well. Thank you guys very much for fixing this, what's gonna be an amazing radio.